Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Okay, let's see, we get it in focus there. All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. I've got Babyface P here with me, my partner in crime. We are going to do a watch review video. Specifically, actually, we're going to review Watch Gang. I've been promising you guys this. Watch Gang, if you don't know, is a subscription service where you there's different price tiers. Uh, I chose the platinum price tier. Yeah. which is two ninety nine a month. I think it starts at 30 and then there's one that's uh, 100 and then and then obviously the platinum is 300 excuse me. <clears throat> and people always ask the question, like, is this a good idea? Is a subscription service for a watch a good idea? What do you think, baby? Me? Face? Yeah. No. Yeah, Babyface says no. Not I not says maybe. I think, I say maybe. Not even close. I say it could be. It could be. So what I decide, there's lots of people that have opinions on this baby face um, and and then they never even used it so I said you know what I'm gonna invest my money so that the people could find out that's right Let's, we'll see what's good and what's bad so we I got three watches from watch gang we got we have them here so the first month this is what came and this is a Swiss mil military Neptune and this is what came um, I think it's a good watch it's a rubber strap which I you you set up what you like when yeah. you do it. So you say, like, you, do you like a metal bracelet? Do you like a rubber strap? Or do you like uh, leather? There's a theme to all of the straps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's based on me. Yeah. So, and and uh, everything that comes is automatic. So this was automatic. And it has, obviously, a bezel here that you can move around. You know, I like that out of it. It's got the date in there as well. And it has military time if you look at it really closely. Does it? So, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, it, it has the hashes. Have, it does have military. Oh, it's on the inside. It's on the inside. Yeah. 13, 14, 15, yeah. 15, 16. So 15, is, actually. It's 15. Look at that. Yeah. So this is Swiss <laughs> made. And, and you know, if you know the uh, the rules about Swiss made, I think 60% of the value has to be made in Switzerland. Is that which is like a weird kind of thing because it, they I'm, can assemble it somewhere, but if 60% of the value of it is from Swiss products, it, yeah, then they have, get away with that. Let's see. Is it a... Swiss military watch movement. This is the same movement that I have in mind, isn't it? Yes, that's a, um, what, 28, 24? Something like that. ETA yeah. or ETA, ETA, as you like to say. It's an ETA movement. So, now, when you look up the, when you, when I look up the value of that watch, I'm gonna just, this is totally unscripted, so we've got some things here. When we look up the value of it, even on eBay, there's things where, let's see right here, like 369. I know, Babyface, you looked at, this is not exactly the same one, but it's very close. Strap, yeah. Yeah, we've got the black uh, the black strap, strap. And black rubber and then silver face with the green mm -hmm. um, indices on there but this is going for like what is it um, they're buy, asking uh, 360 but yeah. they also have make an offer so right so that's I remember when this came and you looked it up you said hey you know what at least it's worth the 300 bucks. I think it's worth I think it's worth what you pay for it yeah. I don't think you're getting any crazy deal off of this one no, but here's the thing. I think I did get a good watch. I think what happened with the value is because what happens with uh, with Watch Gang is they send these out, and then if people don't like them, they flood the market with these. Yeah. Because the way that Watch Gang's working is that they have buying power. Mm -hmm. So they'll go to these companies and, and say, buy we want a thousand of yeah, these at exactly. a time. Yeah, and they get a good deal. But if people get the watch and go, ah, oh, I don't like this, Straight to they're eBay. Yeah, selling it on eBay, and they just want to get their subscription money back. Yeah which brings down the value of it. So this one, I, I would say, comes out at even, worth what it is. It's a great watch. It is auto. You can see the, if you look closely at the hands moving there, you get a nice... Uh, yeah, sweep second. Yeah, you get there a nice sweep of the hand. I think that's nice. The loom, let's test the loom. So we're in broad daylight, and we're going to test the loom here. Hold on, let me make sure it's focused on it. Oh, you're going to wipe it out? Go. Yeah. So there you go. I'm not There's sure if one. you can even tell. It does yeah, illuminate. Let me, actually, let me go. I'm going to go. Sco to, wait, yeah, hold on a second. Hold on. I'm going to go to uh, to the manual focus for a second here and focus in on it. Now you're too close. Yeah, too way too. There you okay, go. there we go. So scoot, scoot to the side real quick. I'm going to illuminate real close. Yeah. All right. And boom. There it is. Now there you go. Good. So the loom is nicely on the hands and some yeah. other places there. I think you know you can't you can't knock that. No. So I think overall this was worth it. It's a good watch. 
Um, I think it's worth 300 bucks. Got some decent features, yeah. I think it's worth the 300 bucks. And for us, we're like, uh, we're automatic snobs. Yeah, I like automatics. I've all, I always like all yeah. those. And that's a good value to get a Swiss-made automatic watch. 300 bucks, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a so. good deal. Yeah. And Swiss Military has, uh, it's been out there for a while. They do a couple different things. They make a bunch of different watches. So that one, I would say, comes out even. So the second one that came is the Laco, which I've, um, you know, it's a German it watch. L-A-C-O, Laco? Yeah. Okay, Laco. it is Laco. Yeah. So there you go. It's uh, the Laco Neptune, and it is also now it's no. German. This isn't the Neptune. This is the Spirit. I'm sorry, of Neptune. What did Spirit I say of Saint Louis. Spirit of Saint Louis. Excuse me. Yeah. So Laco is a German company, and they make pilot watches. This is a pilot watch right here. So bigger, you know, indices, mm -hmm. and it's got a small seconds hand in there. You can't see right now because we're at noon. Yeah. Yeah. We're literally at noon. Oh, it is. Yeah. And uh, when I look this up, so let's. Uh, Let's flip over here for a second and see what uh, what is on the interwebs about the uh, Laco Spirit of St. Louis. There's lots of different things here. I'll try to cut you guys in. Um, right now, it looks like Newegg is selling it for five forty nine. That's a good deal. Um, here's another place selling it for five nineteen. You know, um, Laco. I've seen videos and things like that on them. I see Chrono uh, twenty four selling it for six. If you, if you can go in here real close, their, 675. Their whole, their whole thing here is all in German, too, so I can't read it. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever had a German watch? No, no. Both of these are in German. Yeah. So I think that's cool. I think this is no, a... This a, one's American. This is a known... Like, I actually saw videos on this. If you look up Laco, they make some cool watches. They were at Basel World and all that kind of stuff. So they're they're a big company. They're not some little nobody. No. And I think the watch is over the value, over the $300. And I'd say a little bit. I'd say a little bit. I, I, yeah. to me, out of the three, this is my favorite. Yeah, I like the 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 uh, the strap on this is um, a textile. Uh, it's textile and it's the uh, the NATO style. Yes. Right? Yes. And I like that. It's got like a black back. It's finish. It's got like a PVC yep. finish on it's it. It's hardened, yeah. kind of like a, a hardened dark finish. Non uh, non reflective as far as I can tell. It's right. very matte finish. Yeah, I think this is a cool watch. It looks I, different. It's I like this. See everyone out there. of out of all the three that you got, this is my favorite. Yeah. Um, because you can wear this dressed up, dressed down every day of the week. You don't yeah. have to. It's not like a fancy watch or yeah. anything. Yeah. And I like a dark face and everything like yeah. that. So I think yeah. that's. I think that was a pretty cool watch. A step up. One of the things I would say that with Watch Gang is when you first join the first month they kind of send you a leftover watch. So that's what happened with the Swiss military from the previous month. Was it previous month? Yeah. So then when you go to the second month now in the subscription, you they bump the new. Yeah, it's it's uh, part of like the business plan to maintain what happens. Mm -hmm. uh, like maintain people subscribing, right? Yeah, exactly. Otherwise, if you got an awesome watch the first time, what would you do? <laughs> you just go like, oh, I'm going to cancel this membership. I guess, I, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So the second time they bumped it up a little bit. I think the Laco was really is a really really cool watch. Mm -hmm. And then we, let's go to the third time, which was last month, and that's a D1 Milano. I think this so is there Hank's it goes, favorite. Right there. Um, and we, we should probably go back to the Laco for a second and do the loom test on there. Oh, I just oh, realized that has no. This, this has, has no, no loom. So let's do the loom test. And by the way, we're using this is an Olite X7R has the power of the sun <laughs> <laughs> basically so hold on let's see and uh let's see take it off of there you could you guys could probably see the loom on a little there. bit it's yeah. not quite as bright so the loom to me is around the indices and it's on the hands it's even dark in it. there you go yeah so yeah, you, can you can still see it. see it it's still holding on to that without, light. The, without the light on it you can see yeah it. so i think that's pretty good that's pretty good so now let's go to the d1 milano because this is actually my favorite <laughs> Okay. Take, it, take it off the. It's yeah. got a nice you pillow. Like you don't comes like comes on a very nice pillow. Babyface, not a fan of this watch. This watch too, is confusing the babyface. It's too retro styled for me. I think that's you don't like it. Is. Okay, too so retro. That's actually what I like about this. I know. It's I, like a it's like a Genta kind of design. It looks like a eighties maybe. Well, it looks like a Audemars uh, PJ um, Royal Oak or something. You know, it has that kind of octagonal face on it and i like that i think that came out in the 70s the maybe it's a one. 70s look okay. yeah those are more expensive this this was styled the design and everything was done by an italian company mm -hmm. 
And the movement is Japanese. Yes, it's a uh, Miyota movement. Yeah, it's a Miyota movement. The Laco had a, uh, I'm guessing that's a German automatic movement. In there. I don't know that, that the up. Germans make a whole yeah. lot of movements. So we should look that up and, yeah, and we'll see exactly see. what it is. But I really, I really like this because it's skeletonized and it's a little different. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the industrial look of this. It was it's made also, in China. It's also got a clear back. Yeah, it's got the uh, display back in it. These are made in China? Yes. Yes. Made in the PRC. I don't know if you can see it on there. Does but there's a lot of cool features in this watch. And by the way, <clears throat> these, the D1 Milano, let's go to the website here really quick. So um, from the from their store, it's about 849 and um, that was really the only place you could see it. I don't think they're really out there I, anymore. I think these people are, the, the people that got these are keeping them because they don't seem to be on eBay at all. Um, maybe not. I know that when they first came out, when I first got that, there were a couple of people that were selling them for the 300 bucks. Yeah. Again, like I said, and I thought to myself, man, I should, I should get like another one of those. Just remember I was telling you so we could modify it? Yeah, we can we make our own. Yeah, mess around <laughs> with it and do some stuff. But that's actually my favorite. And it, once again, like I said, the value of it bumped up a little bit. I don't even think that D1 Milano has any of these available anymore. When I went to their website, it's not on there. So I would say overall, we the, the value of what you're paying for, you get. I think these so. Things. Do you I want to put so. the light on that? Here's There's no loom. Yeah, it's, really, it's going to be, it's going to, hold on. Let's actually Wash use a it smaller out. light. Just so people can see that obviously there's no loom on it, but you can if you put the light underneath there, you can see the light it's, yeah. bleed through. It's you skeletonized. Yeah. Too close. There you go. There you go. Yeah. So you can see that light bleed through there, and that's what makes it interesting to me. I think if you look at this really close, you can see it's one of the things that I like about a mechanical watch. You can see the watch is almost like alive. It's beating. Mm-hmm. That's why. Kind of that's thing. one thing that I like about mechanicals more than quartz movements. Yeah. So there you go. Those are the three watches. We're gonna get get into our opinions really quick. Another thing we forgot. Like I said, this is unscripted. Wristwatch check. I am wearing. What am I wearing? My a watch. Tudor. This is a Tudor. <laughs> um, it goes. It goes really well with my hat. Yeah. This is a Tudor Black Bay bronze <laughs> <laughs> that I'm wearing. And you uh, Hamilton as always. Got a Hamilton every day. Yeah. Absolutely. You want to check the loom? Let's check the loom on those. Just to show you guys, like, the, like, what loom should look like. Go ahead, boom. There you go. Can you see that? Stand. That's pretty good. That's decent. Right, right. That's you gotta, decent. You gotta cover it. There you there go. There you go. There you go. That's decent loom. Okay, okay let's one. check it on this. I think this is gonna be the king of the loom. There you go. Look at that. That's practically a nightlight. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there is, there is value in loom. They loom the crap out of the Tudor. If you could, if we could go back though and get the good stuff back in the back 20s in the and days. 30s when they were using uh, radium, the, painting radium, the yeah, stuff. the irradiated that stuff that killed probably mutated some yeah. people. <laughs> <laughs> Last like 10,000 years. Yeah. So let's so let's talk about this now between the two. You know, the two of us. We're watch guys. We're mm -hmm. not. I'm not like a super expert on watches. You a little bit. Been, yeah. A little bit. Uh, my my family owns a watch shop, so I know a little bit about watches. Yeah. Um, and you understand movements, you know what you yeah, like. Yeah, I've rebuilt. I've rebuilt a, a watch before. Yeah. So or, what do you? Well, I, I, my cousin helped me. He's a watchmaker, and oh, okay. he helped me rebuild a watch. Oh, so. okay. Yeah. I um, wouldn't even try to rebuild a it's, watch. It's crazy. It, yeah. The parts are so tight. It's, it's yeah. insane. For the professionals. Yeah. Or Tyven. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Tyven took a Rolex apart. <laughs> now it's in pieces. Yeah. Just send us those pieces to that Rolex. That's right. I'll fix it for you. Yeah. We can get that back <laughs> and then together. I'll wear it. <laughs> exactly. So now, what do you think about this overall? Do you I think it's? Would not do you think watch? So you don't? You think watch gangs a ripoff? I don't think it's a ripoff. No, I think you okay. get what you pay for it. But you have to be the type of person that's willing to wear a bunch of different watches. For me, when I buy a watch, I buy something extremely specific. Like right. I, you know I what shop, you want. I shop for my watch for a yes. while. I'll save up for it if I have to, and then I'll buy that one watch. Right. Um, like right now, the the two main watches I have a, a Tag Heuer. And I have my Hamilton. Those are the only two watches I wear. Right. Um, and my next watch is going to be that one. 
when I can save up enough to, to buy one, I'm going to get one of the Black Bay Bronze yeah. watches. Yeah. Um, and we talk about this kind of stuff all the time. We're both gun guys, yeah. but we also like watches. Yeah. So I think, I think it goes with the territory. Yeah. I, I like the fact that they're mechanical things and, and very intricate mechanical mm -hmm. things at yeah. that. But, you know. but I'm not the type that wants to just get some random $300 watch in the mail. Right. I want to pick my very specific watch mm -hmm. and wear that one watch. Yeah. Um, well, and I think here, here's the thing. Like, I know, I also know what I want, but I think this is not a bad thing if you want, if you enjoy discovery. Yeah. So yeah, I'm that kind of person. If you don't mind being surprised with something that you may or may not like, mm -hmm. I, th I say go for it. Um, also, you like if you never heard of these, you can go research them and you yeah. can find out things, and it helps. For me, the reason why I did it is because I was out of the watch game for a while. I've always been into watches mm -hmm. and I dropped out of the watch game for a while and then I was like you know what I need to do something to crash course myself into it <laughs> and plus I wanted to find out whether or not watch gang was a good idea I like the idea of subscription model based things mm -hmm. as people that have knives like that clothing all kinds of See, things I'm I'm I wouldn't do a knife one either because I'm really particular with what I About want what you want yeah I, I have what I like and I I kind of especially with knives I kind of stick to it and when I see a knife that I like I'm really, I really, really like, mm -hmm. I will go and, and pick yeah. it up. I, I think it depends on what kind of person you are. I know, because this is why I agree with you partly, because if I go to a restaurant, I, I know exactly yeah, what I, I want, want. I want this. Yeah, when I get there. <laughs> but if you are the kind of person that wants to discover things and you want to be surprised and you're the kind of person that would go to a restaurant and ask the waitress, like, what would you get or mm -hmm. what do you recommend? And then you enjoy that kind of adventure. I think this is, I, it, this is great for you. I yeah. really think so. Um, we obviously went with the high end. Um, yeah. So they have different tiers. Uh, to me, looking, I'd have to look at the thirty dollars tier. That might be more in line with. I'm willing to gamble thirty bucks more mm -hmm. than I'm willing to gamble three hundred. Right. So maybe for me, the thirty bucks, I'd be like, oh, there's something cool came in the mail. Yeah. The and big, then if I don't like it, just give it away to somebody. The big lore of uh, Watch Gang is that every month they give away a Rolex and they also give away an Omega. Yeah, I would yeah. love to have an Omega, but <laughs> the odds of getting that. Yeah. Now, lots of people say with this, like, hey, if you're going to spend $300 a month in, in like, 10 months, that's literally $3,000, $3,600 30, $3, in a year. Yeah, you can buy um, Don't a vintage do it for Rolex that. or something. Don't do it to try to get the, the Rolex. It's just, that's like gambling on the lottery. Don't don't waste your time with that. Yeah. If you want to do this, get it because you want the adventure of buying, yeah. of having a, a, a new and interesting watch come in the mail. Yeah. Once a month. And if you like that, if you're like, listen, I can change my watch every day. I don't mm -hmm. care. I can do some different things. If I don't like it, I can sell it i say do it i do not think it's a ripoff i think no. we got stuff that's worth the value you, i didn't cancel yet we're gonna get one more um you get that you is. get your value yeah for the at the base level from what i can tell you get your value and then every month you might get something that might be a little bit more than that mm -hmm. but you're the lowest you got you you could sell it conceivably and get your money back yeah so. and then here's the other thing i found out like there's so many good deals and uh bargains out there and there's cool vintage stuff mm -hmm. so probably what i'm gonna do now is go into getting some of the older more vintage things trying to that's, find cool that's watches what I, that's what i'm yeah that's what i like um yeah. I, i'll have to bring in my watch collection i got a couple really cool yeah. old ones we should do like that and show yeah. like what you have and what i have i've got some stuff of a head from back in the days and then i've been collecting things lately so i'm gonna get into doing that and probably after this next one, I may cancel it unless the next one's really awesome. Unless but, you get the Rolex next. Yeah, one. see, that's the dream. If that's you get the, the Rolex, hook. <laughs> I can call dibs. Uh, damn you! <laughs> damn you! See, he knows I have to like he obey the, the dibs, dibs law. That's damn right. It. He lives by the dibs. <laughs> <laughs> so we'd have to do that. So here's the last thing that we're gonna do here before we get back to work. So um, if you guys have been looking at my channel, you've seen Rashad and you've seen Gabe. The Filipino prince. I don't know what we're calling Rashad. We're just calling. We just. He, we call him Shade. He calls himself Shade. Shade. So I'm gonna let them choose. But I'm gonna. Away. I'm going first. Yes. I'm going first because this right, is a well, problem here. Go. So I'm gonna choose which one of these watches I like the most. And here I'm. See Shade. He's getting excited he's, there. He's way too excited. And Gabe is here already. I'm gonna choose the D1 Milano, yeah. man. That's, <laughs> I knew it. That's what. <laughs> That's what I'm choosing. This one, I'm definitely holding on to. So, did you guys decide who's choosing next? You want Wait, to Wait, let me convince you first. Let's yeah. see. I think. Oh, are you going to try to convince me out of that? I think we should play a game of tic tac toe for that watch. There it is. <laughs> I Representing. Think not. I think not. I don't think so. All right. So this is not this willing. is out of the drawing. <laughs> yeah, that one's out. Not willing to do it. I want that watch. What are you I going with, Rashad? That's my favorite. So here's the other two. Well, which one of you is going first? This is the thing. Do you guys want to flip a coin? 
Well, I thought we already oh, you're decided gonna do rock, paper, which scissors? one we wanted. Okay, fine. You both want the same one? Oh, no. no not really. Alright, okay. two out of three. Ah! Two out of Is three. it two yeah. out of three? Two out of three, man. Oh, you said. Boy. Okay, so you got one. Oh, tied up. Oh, hold on. Oh. Oh, okay, Rashad's going up. Okay, all right. Rashad. Champion! Oh, what are you picking? What are you picking? These are good watches, man. These are right. worth it. We already went through all of them. Right. Which one would you choose? The Swiss. Oh. There you go. Oh, yeah. He likes the nice okay, watches. A... Why? Tell us why. Why do you like that one? And and this is from a guy who's wearing an, uh, an Apple, Apple watch. Yeah, I'm switching it up. I'm switching up the game. Why did you choose that, man? If you guys turn the lights off, this thing lights up. Yeah, you like the look. <laughs> yeah, like yeah the look that's on that one. that's okay. really cool. It lights yeah. up and it makes my wrist look more powerful. It's a nice watch, and you're a stylish guy. I like you know. I think like it. You know what's funny person. is I feel like the three watches that are being divvied out right now fit fit each of your personalities <laughs> whoa, 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 perfectly. Whoa, whoa. In my yeah. defense, the one that fit my personality <laughs> just got excluded out of here. <laughs> Oh, excluded! Oh, 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 look at that. Sponsored by excluded. You know? Yeah, but, but listen, man, this this also this also fits my style. Do you see so. that? Oh, me? I you oh. know I think it's you see that that would make me look like I, yeah. A, Rashad yeah. would would wear that one for yeah. Good. You one would, more, you would. So Gabe, you're up. So, so one Gabe, cool thing about this is it's de it's like background. I, what do you call it? The face the texture. Face, yeah. texture yeah, yeah, the texture is really style. nice. It's like a pearly texture, yeah. which is cool. Yeah. So now it fits so Gabe, the Miami style. Yeah. So Gabe, you, know you get left Miami with the Loco. Are right. you okay with that? Is I'm not disappointed. No, I really looks, like it. It's gonna look really good. It's very, you know, it's very, very streamlined. Yep, this is the yeah. moment right here. Yeah, put it on. Yeah, there you go. Put it on. See, throw those on. I think I think that's a good. That's a really cool watch, Gabe. I think you're gonna like that. It looks. It it already fits like you drive a Mercedes. I guess so. Yeah. I mean. That, was, that fits good with. Look at that. Uh, that looks good on your wrist. It does. It looks really good. And I yeah. usually wear like. Gotta, you gotta, you gotta I, how'd you, how'd you, right how'd you put that on that fast? D -d baby steps. Baby steps. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Now you got like little skinny wrists. Uh, that's what. Big old watch on it. Uh, let's go. All in. Look, this is gonna be on his uh, Instagram on in his, about ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, on his IG <laughs> in like ten. He, it's already on his yeah, IG. Wait, I don't flip, know how. Flip it over. It. Flip it over. Flip it over. Oh. This goes up. Like oh, that, yep. so the band isn't just flopping in the wind. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not there watch culture. Now it's it like. It looks good, man. It looks go. really good on you. That's yeah. really cool, man. Looks like I got I some like that. some and bling on. I know. Yeah. And that's your watch. I got some bling on. From the Hank Strain situation. Is it? Is it too late to kind of negotiate the other? <laughs> one? No, no, no. It's not Forget happening. About Forget about the other one. It doesn't one. exist. You got a good watch. Okay, Gabe. Let's see. Let's so yeah, that. this yeah. one's very streamlined. I like to. You know, wear business casual too, yeah, and it so fits it, fits it very well. Yeah, you can both wear of, that with a suit. Both of these watches are sapphire crystal too, so yes. that's a very good value right yeah. there. <laughs> you have a nice it's watch. It's like selling. It's like QVC yeah. up in Once here. again, can we negotiate? QVC. He's not giving up. He's not giving up <laughs> on that D1 Milano. Oh, pass, pass it to me. Pass it I to can't. me. I can't. You're gonna see it. No, don't uh, even. Don't like, even. Look at, look, just, look, look at it. it. Look at it. It's so All right, there you go. So here's the thing that I'm saying. Here's the last thing I want to say. Let's see if we can get us all in here. Ah. Right there. There you go. Okay, so ah. here's the thing I want to say. I think Watch Gang is not bad. The worst case, if you get watches that you don't like, you don't want to sell them, Bam. you can give them away to people. Yeah, there and you go. Enjoy it. Give it to the Hank Strange <laughs> Bam! Absolutely. Or you can sell it, do whatever <laughs> you want to do. Look at all my bling. Yeah. <laughs> bling. <laughs> We're going to do other watch reviews, so stay bling. tuned to the channel. We're out of here. Don't forget to uh, like and comment, share this video with your friends, and then also register on HankStrange.tv. Put, go put in your email. That's a way to keep in touch with with me. We're going to give away stuff. We might give away some watches sure. on the channel in the future. Future. The Rolex should, is next. We should do the thirty dollar yeah. one and give it away. Absolutely, maybe, maybe that's a good idea. Blame. We might do that. We're out of here. Blame. Peace. <laughs>